welcome back to the channel guys so a couple of months ago a producer by the name of true blue um released a, a video on social media where he was blasting bounty killer saying bounty killer bad mind and bounty killer broke and them something you understand i did not address the situation at that point in time but it turns out that said producer was shot and killed in maxfield recently police pro producers killing soon talk about it Police are currently investigating the death of producer Ralston True Blue Wellington, who was shot and killed at his Maxfield Avenue home in St. Andrew on Friday, October the 27th. According to the Jamaica Constabulary Forces Information Arm, the Communications Unit, at about 6 p.m., explosions were heard coming from the Sweatham Road Kingston 13 home of the dancehall producer. On investigation by his family members, the 44-year-old's body was found in his yard with what appeared to be gunshot wounds. The police were called in and the body subsequently removed. No motive has yet been established for the killing. True Blue, who was off the music radar for close to a decade, co-produced Wine Oasis by Vice Cartel and Don Andre last year. Police investigators have not come up with any new leads or motives um, behind the murder of the 44-year-old producer. My brother did not deserve to die like that. He was always helping people. He looked out for the little people. He was always about business. He worked with a lot of young artists with his record label. And this is so tragic and sad. Marvett Haynes, True Blue's younger sister said, my brother lived his life. He enjoyed his life. He went to Jamaica to promote music and help artists and that is what he did. He died doing something that he loved. The Corporate Communications Unit reported that a police team responded to the reports of gunfire and found Wellington suffering from gunshot wounds to the upper body. So as I said in the intro, Wellington came to the public's attention with the video that he uploaded um, in relation to Bounty Killer, the profanity lays video um, where he lamp blasted killer went viral and persons kind of were interested as into who this fellow was because many persons did not know him you understand however investigators have not been able to establish a link between the videos release and the producer's death you know? but you know people are going to say things are answered or something still you see me so that are the situation so true blue um, i'm not able to realize it happened i was just going through some stuff and i saw it and i figured that i would have adjust it you understand it's kind of unfortunate still i don't know what the situation um was in relation or surrounding his death but just another person added it to the list of the number of persons murdered in the country and then from that standpoint we can't appreciate and we can't respect that you understand what i mean so condolences to his family Thank you for watching the video. Drop a like and a comment down below and consider subscribing if you haven't done so as yet. Until next time, walk good.